Okay, so I'm back. I decided to use this one to show you the mask because we're going to use a really small mask. This, these are masks from um, Tim Holtz. They're just really small ones. But this is going to this is the difference between a mask and a stencil. And I'm going to show you the premium mask too on a different paper. But so what you want to do is remove it from the package and it is there's a lot of teeny little pieces to it. So first of all, let's remove this whole thing. So you want to punch out all these little pieces that are in here. I don't know if you can see it very well, but anyways, there's a bunch of little pieces. You want to make sure you punch them out. Um, cause we won't get the design unless we do. Okay. So that's good for the most part. So if we were to stick it on here, and it's sticky, so it's going to stay, and then we just sprayed right on it, and let's use a spray this time that's red, and we can either just leave that like that, or we can take paper, go over it, it actually works better with tissue paper, which I don't have, but anyway, so we let it dry, or you can take your paintbrush and go over it too, which is another option, so if we did that, it just gives it a more a cleaner look but when you pull this back and let's hope this works see how you're left with the design so where the stencil is the design the mask creates the design so you would use it for an all-over design and even though the surface is already done we can still reapply this back on here and then let's just use some gesso and some paint and it's not quite dry so it's gonna start it's gonna turn a little pinky but and go over it and just like a stencil but again look how cool that is so we've got two different designs on there and of course you know then we would keep adding to it and we would uh, stamp on it and add the fun, tons of dump, fun different things okay so to this really big one because I want to show you and this gesso is still not dry. Seriously, come on. Okay. Well, let me show you. These are these are fun. This is the they come in a five pack. There's five per pack. And these ones I would consider more of a stencil than a mask. So let's use, and obviously you can take them apart. Um, I'm just gonna I mean, well, you can use it on your own, but I'm gonna take mine apart. So, watch me as I ruin this. Mm. Oh yeah, and I did. Let me back that up a little bit. Okay, so I wanna show you how to use modeling paste. And we are going to use just the DecoArt modeling paste. And I'm gonna put a little bit on a plate that I have somewhere right here and this is thick modeling paste it also comes there's light there's that's more flexible this isn't quite as flexible so I'm gonna take a bunch and stick it on here there's a lot of different ways you can color modeling paste as well as gesso or whatever and um, paint is one of them I love using ink and the reason why I love using ink is because ink is so bright and vivid that I'm gonna get that bright vivid color in my modeling paste okay whereas paint is gonna mix with the white and then become really trans um, more transparent and this is just gonna be see how bright and beautiful that color is like you would not get that with paint that's what I love about the inks they're just amazing okay and you can even go darker that was the vivid orange by the way I'm going to do just a teeny bit more. Just drop it in there. And then I'm going to take my stencil and stick it here in the corner. And I'm just going to stencil right in it. Let's take the modeling paste. And someone the other day was asking me, if I don't have a deep stencil, then how can I get that deep, like, look and it's just easy I mean you can certainly pile on the modeling paste like what like I'm doing here 
and it can get as deep as you want it, like, I mean, as thick as you want it. So, let me take that off and show you. Move this out of the way. So when we take it back, we have a really cool design. And then, let me show you the side. Can you see that, how you've got just this really cool um, texture? I mean, it's like thick, it's, it's on there, it's really thick. So it's, that's really fun. Let me show you really. So, so using modeling paste with stencils is a ton of fun. And then I've got all this modeling paste on here. I could certainly go back and use it as a stencil down. And then it's created like just a really fun kind of shape. So that's another really fun thing to do with um, stencils is modeling paste. Um, I also I want to show you what this would look like if it was a spray because this is another one of those that has you know just a lot of little um, um, designs and stuff on it. So let's go in with the red and I seriously wish I had I'm gonna use this just, just to soak up some of that color and then when I pull it back Look what I'm left with. Is that the coolest thing ever? Like, look how beautiful that is. Oh my gosh, I just freaking love it. Ooh, sorry, I don't know if freaking's a good word. But love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, there's just so much. I mean, we could keep going on and on with this whole canvas. That, that last part you didn't get to see very well because I just realized it wasn't zoomed out. But see how cute that is? Okay, let's do another one. Okay, so that's dry. So now I'm going to go back with this stencil because I really, really want this on there. And I think this time I'm just going to use a spray. I'm going to use this orange. Such a bright orange. Oh my gosh, I love it. That's from Studio Calico. And I think I'm just going to leave it like the spray look because if I do different things to it, it'll go away. But but see how cute that is? And I'll take this and see, okay, that's exactly what I mean by the opposite. So up here is the stencil, and then down here we actually used it as a stamp. So I'm gonna show you more about this later, but first let's move on to another project. Okay, I just wanted to show you a couple more of these stencils before I go. So this one's kind of fun, it's just a doily stencil. And what I would love it is for this to be coming off of the edge of here. And you know what, really quick, we I just can't stand white background. We have got to do something with it. So I'm going to, We got it's got to be cute. I want to be able to use it later. I mean, we can redo any of this, obviously, by putting paint over it and whatever, but don't want it to be, just want it to be cute. Come on, really? Paper just gives it that special look. Talking to myself, aren't I? I know. I know. I know what you're saying right now. You're saying Christy Tomlinson talks to herself when she works. If you take my classes, if you take my workshops, you know that's the truth. <laughs> well, I don't talk. I talk to what I'm working on. Like, I'm like, you know what? You are just... They just need love. Our paintings need love. So... Give them a little bit of love. Okay. Let's get a little bit more underneath there so it'll actually stay down. See, we don't even have to cover the, the whole thing. We just want it covered. So let me dry that really fast. Okay, so that's dry. I want to give it a really fast all over look before I use that stencil. So this is the arabesque one. And I'm just going to go in and use a really light blue and stencil that in because I just I just want some a little bit more color. Hello blue paint. Come on out. There you go. Paint. Paint is not having a good day today. He just wanted to stay in his little shell, so making him come out. Okay, so I'm just gonna stencil this super fast. Give it a little bit of color before we do this. Just a soft color, like it's not going to show up a ton, but it's okay. Okay, so we'll pull that away, and we just gave ourselves just a really fun little soft design. 
Now I'm going to take the stencil, and I just dipped it in my blue paint, and we are going to spray it. And I am going to go back to that orange spray. Just want to make sure it's down good. Stencil or spray it on there. And then we could even go in while this is still wet. And this is a fun trick I like to do. But I like to go in with like um, texture or even, uh, where is my punchinella? back look how cute that is that is so cute oh my goodness I adore that um but let me show you too what it would look like if we did just this one like this is a really small design so these are just like stencils and we don't have to do the whole thing what we could do if say we just wanted this design we could easily tape off or mask off the other pieces to it um, and what I would suggest doing is just getting a piece of paper that you don't want. And let's say, I want to do that little fun design right there. So I don't want the rest of it on there. So I'm just going to tape this down. And possibly even tape around that. And then we're going to spray that. So let's spray it in green. And then when we pull it back, look how cute that is. Just a fun little cute scallopy border. So you can do so much with these. Um, I'm going to put that on there. Spread it around. There's just so much you can do. I love this. This is called Eternity. It reminds me of, I got these doilies from, um, they, don't, they don't have them anymore, but I got these doilies from, um, Denny Bullen. Anyways, when I saw this stencil, it totally reminded me of this. But let's do this one. And let's do, um, let's do modeling paste again. I really I love modeling paste, so I need a lot of it because we got a big surface to cover. And I'm going to mix it with some turquoise paint that I have over here. I'm mean, normally not this totally random and messy, but you won't do the whole thing because we're running out of time. But we just want to get a nice thick layer on there and then pull it back and see how cute that is if we did the all over thing see how we've got like some dimension and texture to it this this thing is just starting to really be cute I mean I could totally see doing a house scene on it or a girl or something on it but this is gonna be adorable so it's just creating backgrounds with stencils it's just a ton of fun and I and in the she art workshop that I teach um, we go over it way more extensively there's like so many things but I just wanted we're having a sale today in our shop on our, our stencils and masks. So I kind of wanted just to show you how to use them because so many people, you know, email me and ask me and say, what do you, how do you use these? What do you do with them? So let's do one more really fast. If we have time. We'll have to see. This might be cut out. But let's do a spray. Look how cute that is. Oh. Just love it. So cute. Okay, I'm going to dry this up a little bit, and then when we come back in part three, I'm going to get some fun tags out, just some manila tags, and we are going to um, have some fun creating with masks and more stencils. Mm -hmm.